Sarah, so you're wondering if a male lion will get first dibs on a kill. Yes, especially if it's something small like this. They, they come barging in and literally push and shove anybody out of the way and all the other lions out of the way so that they can eat their fill. And, then, and that's why they've got the biggest stomachs out of everybody else in the pride at the moment. But I have seen it once where the lioness has caught a warthog. Not yet. Oh, listen, she's calling again. We're actually pinned in at the moment, aren't we, Craig? She's sitting right behind us, Craig. Yeah. Sorry, I can't. I can't see right behind the vehicle. I don't want to stand up. Yeah, so we will have to wait until we can find another spot to get out. Anyways, so the one day I was sitting with the Pride Lines down in the Eastern Cape, and they went on, on a walkabout. It was actually quite early in the afternoon. It was quite warm too. Anyways, they're walking around, walking around. And the next minute, they started running. And the male lion was dawdling behind and he was marking his territory, not really paying attention. And they snatched up a warthog. Now there were four lionesses at the time and then there were four juveniles. So you can imagine a warthog, even though it was a big warthog, isn't much of a meal for that many lions. So they caught it, they started feasting. Literally there was a lion on every end of that warthog. And the next minute the male realized and heard what was going on. So he came racing in, he raced on in to see what was <coughs> happening. And he sat there very sadly because the lionesses all turned on him. It was just one. They turned on him and swatted him. So he sat there and he sulked without getting anything to eat. So he didn't even have one bite of that warthog. And that was the first time and the only time I've ever seen something like that happen. Otherwise, if there are two of them, they will gang up on the girls. And like I said, they will literally force their way in. And if those girls say no, they'll get themselves into a lot of trouble. They could risk getting injured to the point where they could get killed. And then nobody wants that. Not that the boys care too much. Hello guys. Shame they're hungry. Very, very hungry. And they're not they're not the fattest that I've seen them. So hopefully they'll be able to lose the Birminghams and go off and find themselves a buffalo or a zebra or a big kudu bull so that they can at least have a little bit more to eat rather than just a couple of mouthfuls. Cedar Point, now we... Oh. A bit of a dispute, you see that little one trying to come on and steal mom's scraps but nobody's having any of it. It's actually the feisty, our feisty little girl who causes a lot of trouble for all of us well not for all of us but for all of the other lions in the pride she's a naughty girl uh so sorry cedar point you're wondering if they'll eat the horns uh, it's literally one of the few things that they won't feed on is is the horns unless say it's something like a young male impala and the horns are still teeny tiny normally they'll actually just eat the entire entire baby impala because the bones are very soft so they can crush through the bones even the skull they'll be able to crush through but it's not common the only thing that eats the horns is the horn moth, the keratin moth. So after a couple of months, you'll see them uh, lay their eggs, and then you'll see them pupating and feasting on the keratin. Other than that, the rest is left up to the hyenas. The hyenas will eat the hooves. The lions won't eat the hooves of the animal, again, unless it is a young, young, young animal, and they're still very, very soft. Whoa. <laughs> Look how naughty they are. And this is it. You can see their personalities developing really well now. How they fight over absolutely everything. Look at that. See? Not much left. There really isn't anything left at all. Sorry, guys. But at least you just got a little power snack. I suppose it's like an energy bar for them. And it'll be enough to put them to sleep, to have a siesta today. But I reckon that they'll be very hungry this evening. And this evening. So that might be some action. Well, guys... I hope that you can understand me. You need to come across to, for your teller, there's one or two buffalo bulls there for you to feed on. But good luck finding them. And good luck taking them down because those buffalo have now tripled in size compared to what they were in the winter months when they were just skin and bones. They are looking strong and they will definitely put up a fight. So maybe it's a good idea that the Birmingham boys do hang around. It's very important to have them around. They are much stronger than the girls and they'll definitely help in getting that buffalo to the ground. Like I said, 